Well, now as you're not necessarily known for your goal scoring, but that's two and two for you now. Yeah, um, like I said, I'm not a goal scoring midfielder, but um, I'm more defensive. Uh, try and uh, clear stuff up as much as I can, but um, I felt confident when it dropped to me. I had a chance before that, which was a great save from the keeper. Uh, I thought I scored, to be fair, but uh, I took my second one. It was nice to, uh, uh, to put us two on up, but uh, frustrating that we didn't see the game out and um, we didn't get the three points. Your goal at Ipswich and your goal tonight were pretty similar, where you went for placement rather than power. Yeah, no, I think uh, I think it's, sometimes it's not all about power. Um, I think it's I tried, to, I just wanted to hit it as I can with it, with the laces really into the bump corner, and it's um, for me it's a good finish to be fair. But um, yeah, it was nice to get a goal uh, again and uh, try and build from that and try and get a few more for, throughout the season. Yeah, as you said, you're a defensive player, but is it important that you keep popping up in those positions and you know that when the ball does fall to you, you've, you've got that in your locker? Yeah, definitely. Um, like I said, I'm not there for t- to score goals, but if I can help out with as much as I can with the um, with the goals, and hopefully I can. So, um, But yeah, it's more about three points than me scoring. Obviously, it sparked the, the turnaround, or completed the turnaround, I should say. How disappointed were you that you, you couldn't see that out in the end? Um, I think we're more disappointed in the first half that we didn't perform as as well as we as well as we should, uh, as well as we have been. Um, but like I said, we went two one up. Maybe it's, I think it's on on behalf of the team, we we'll, we all agree that it's it's two sloppy goals, um, and we've got to accept that and try and bounce back and not concede goals like that again. Become more professional. Um, but yeah. Like I said, it's, we weren't 2-1 up. Maybe we should have seen it out, but it's, it, it's our place to come. Um, and the way we performed tonight, we wasn't at the best. Maybe we take the point. People will look at the double change at half-time and the sort of slight tactical change as well, but was it a case of sort of having a, a few words at half-time just to increase the, the levels that you know you can reach? Yeah, definitely. I think we just said, um, we said we've got a upper full, uh, performance. We've got another few gears uh, to give. Everyone agreed and... We said at the half time that we don't lose this game and uh, we didn't. So that's the that was a bonus really, the way we performed. Um, like I said, we've got got so much in this in these change rooms and uh, we probably we let ourselves down tonight with the performance we did in the first half. A lot better second half. But um, but yeah, we should have really seen the game out. And of course the second half gives you a bit of momentum to take into the crew game on Saturday. Yeah, definitely. We'd like. I don't see why not. The confidence should be sky high, especially with the, uh, the run we've had over the last couple of weeks, few weeks. Um, we know we want uh, at the best tonight, uh, but we've got a big game at Crew. Everyone's got to be ready. Um, obviously, a short period where we need to get recovery and get ready for the uh, for the, uh, for, the uh, for the Saturday. And um, like I said, we need to be ready. Everyone needs to be ready and uh, go again on that front.